Hello everyone and welcome to another power episode of Iron Panther Presents. Today I want to talk about the new seven characters that were added to book three that I saw on a Deadline article. But before we get to that, again, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Please share the video. Please comment on the video and let us know why do you watch Power? Why do you watch us? And we will get back to you as soon as possible. But Again, we're going to talk about new characters that are added to the Kanan backstory. But as always, I'd like to thank the, the commenters that keep us going. And that is like Nikki Live, uh, Jakus, Stacy Land, uh, Ron B, Jeremiah, and Vashon May, a uh, new uh, commenter. Thank you very much for supporting the, the power storyline that we're discussing. Okay. So, seven new characters, seven actors. So, who do we have? So, let's just start at the top overall. Kanan, uh, the story of Kanan is really going to be centered not necessarily just around him, but also his mom and two brothers. So Raquel Thomas is Kanan's mom and his uncles. Who are his uncles? Well, we know that his oldest uncle is going to be played by London Brown. And the character's name is going to be Marvin Thomas. Marvin Thomas is the is the the killer of the group for the most part he's the muscle behind the thomas drug family which is led by raquel uh kanan's mom um so apparently so he's vicious um very boisterous doesn't really give a lot of good ideas people don't trust him with the thinking part of the business just the doing part of the business but he still has a lot to offer at least he wants to have a lot more say into how the, the business is going um, he is the father of Jukebox. So as we discussed in Jukebox video, um, he, she is in fact the blood relative of Kanan and therefore she is the daughter of one of his uncles, his oldest uncle uh, Marvin, which means Marvin is the one that will eventually kick her out for being gay and then um, Kanan will uh, tell her she needs to move, move out and you know, be her own person and it's probably how she gets to DC. If Marvin is this violent person that, that described in this article, he's probably the one that Jukebox learns her ways from. Maybe he's the one that teaches Kanan how to chop up a body. I remember there was a, a, when um, Tommy was chopping up uh, the body in season one, he was like, Sean, watch this. Hey, and he was like, hey, your dad taught us how to do this kind of stuff. So maybe we'll see where Kanan learned how to cut off a man's tongue that he did in season two. Um, so maybe Marvin's the one that taught him all these types of things. But anyway, Marvin's the oldest uncle. Um, Kanan's youngest uncle is played by Malcolm Mays. And the character will be Lulu Thomas. Unlike his oldest brother, Lulu's more soft-spoken. He's a thinker. Um, he's also part of the, has part of the brains in, behind the operation, along with Raquel, uh, Kanan's mom. Um, he's he has a, a passion for music, which is important because Jukebox is, you know wants to be a, a, a singer at some point. So maybe you know he you'll see him and her working together in the music thing. I'm um, clearly that doesn't go anywhere because at some point she leaves, you know, goes to DC and becomes a cop. But maybe we'll have a lot of singing performances within the show because of those two. Um, Omar Epps. Omar Epps is in the show and he is playing Detective Howard. Um, so he has a partner and uh, so Chanel uh, Caswell is playing his partner. His partner's name is Detective uh, Burke. Uh, she's an Irish American de uh, detective, third generation cop, first generation woman detective. Um, I guess they're going to be the law enforcement, you know, trying to go up against uh, the, the Thomas, you know, drug family in South Jamaica, Queens. So we'll see how that, you know, turns out. We also have uh, Raquel Thomas is going to have a love interest in the show. His name is Symphony Boskett. Um, and hope I got that right. And uh, he'll be played by Toby uh, Sandman. And uh, so uh, Symphony is a bartender who's working on his degree. Um, eventually he meets Raquel, uh, Kanan's mom and they become a thing. So clearly one, Kanan's dad is not on the show. Okay. I don't know if he died or, you know, he just, you know, didn't ever really took responsibility for Kanan, but he don't have a daddy as he said in book one. So, you know, what is, you know, Symphony's role in Kanan's upbringing, you know, so how, how, what impact did he have on him? How, what, what impact will Kanan's uncles overall have on him or who he turns out to be? We got to find, we got to figure that out. Um, so the Thomas, uh, family is going up against a, a unique, uh, the, the rival drug, uh, kingpin in South Jamaica, Queens. He's played by Joey Badass, I guess. Um, so, and that's interesting because 
if his drug organization and the Thomas drug organization are the two main, you know, street sellers, where's the RSKs? Where do they fit into this? Because if you watch book one, the RSKs uh, was given the territory by uh, Canaan. Canaan and Breeze gave it to Ghost and Tommy. Ghost and Tommy gives the, gives the, the streets to the RSKs, which is led by Rolla, um, which is the guy that James, you know, like uh, James mentored into, into a drug dealer. So where's the RSKs in all this? How does... Um, Kanan, and, and by the way, we still haven't heard who, who's going to play Breeze, and Breeze definitely is going to have to be in this show, but when does the Thomas you know, family and this unique drug kingpin family, like how do they get put to the side and the RSKs, uh, well, Ghost, Br Breeze, and Kanan take over everything, what is the name of their drug organization when they're in charge? Does Kanan ultimately take the business away from his family? And what happens to his mom and two brothers? I mean, is, is, that's how he gets in charge. When does Breeze come in? And again, these two organizations have to go so the RSKs can take over at some point. So we'll see how that rolls out. Um, the last character is going to be uh, Crown. He's a music producer and he's played by Quincy Brown. And so again, music. So we got Jukebox singing. We got Marvin Thomas, you know, want to uh, have a passion for music. We have Crown, who's going to be a music producer. So it's going to be a lot of music involved in this show, as you would imagine, with 50 Cent, um, uh, you know, being the center of it with Kanan. So, again, is this, you know, how much is that, how much is that going to play in the overall storyline? You know, is it going to be like Power? Will the, you'll have some, like, musical moments, you know, um, excuse me, like Empire. They'll have some musical moments from time to time. So that would be interesting. Overall, with all these characters, the biggest problem is none of them are mentioned in book one. Kanan don't mention his mom, his two brothers. Only person that makes it to book one really is Jukebox and the story of Breeze. Because Breeze is dead when before the show starts, right? So that means all these characters, like with any prequel, most of these people are going to die one way or the other, okay? Because Kanan being in jail... He said no one came to visit him in jail. So it's not like he has close family members, you know, to, in New York, you know, to help him out. I mean, when he got when he got beat up by ghosts, he called he called jukebox in D.C. to go get him, which means his uncles must not be around. His mom must not be around, which is interesting about the mom, because in season two, episode two, when he gets out of jail and he goes to see ghost and Tasha at their house, he said, I want to go see my moms. And then I came here. And I was like, where's your mom's? You know, and then my wife was like, well, maybe he meant like Sean's mom, like his baby mama, you know, Kane's baby mama. But I'm like, he don't meet, he don't see her till la later on in the, in season two. So where is, where is Sean's mom? You know, is she going to be cast? Are we going to see her? We should at some point. Where, who is going to play Breeze? He needs to be involved at some point because it's really him and Kanan that take over the streets in, in, in Queens and then lay the groundwork for Ghost and Tommy. So we got to see, we got to see Breeze at some point. And it'll be interesting to see how they slowly get rid of Kanan's family um, to put Kanan in the position to be the lead, you know, along with Breeze, you know, so it'd be, it'd be interesting to see how all that works together. Um, what's the turning moment in, in Kanan's life that turns him to what he is you know, to, you know, in, to today, I guess today in book one, um, is he going to kill one of his family members at some point? You know, like I think he may kill Marvin, you know, uh, considering Marvin's the one that got rid of Jukebox, um, it, you know, kicking her out and everything. Maybe at some point, you know, Kanan and him get into it over Jukebox or something like that. And Kanan's the ultimate, ultimately the one that, that kills him because we got to understand how does Kanan become the type, the type of man that could kill his own son without even thinking about it, really? You know, like what causes that, you know, in a, in a person's mind. Right. So what happens in his past that makes him like that? Um, so I guess we'll, we'll find out which character um, are you most interested in uh, in seeing again in Kanan's story. And how do you think all these characters are going to fare? You know, how, how are they going to leave the show? You know, they're all going to die. Some of them going to go to jail. Um, and why weren't they mentioned in book one? If any of these people are alive when this Kanan story ends, they need to explain why they weren't mentioned in book one, okay? And again, that's what happens with these kind of prequels. They add so many new characters that when people don't die, 
It's still a question why weren't they mentioned at all, at all, when they talked about Canaan's, you know, backstory. You know, like, especially if these people are going to be important in his life and his upbringing. Doesn't make any sense that you never heard about any of these people. But anyway, we'll see what happens in this show. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you again.